Good morning, people. I'm glad to be back. That's one of my resolutions for 2025. I wanted to get back to the video for YouTube. We are spending a lot of time adding new features in Babylon JS, but I think we also need to spend time on here talking about what we are working on so you guys can leverage these features. And so without further ado, today I would like to talk about the debug nodes in Node Material Editor. Let's jump right in. All right. So that's the classic uh, node material editor that we have right here. And um, before even talking about the debug nodes, I want to just to highlight some quality of life feature we added recently. One of them is the projection of UI. Some blocks like these two, for instance, instead of having to click on the block and then check the properties here on the right, you can now have the obvious feature available directly uh, into the, uh, the node itself. So for instance, if I add a world normal, you can see that, okay, the world normal is transformed as a direction. I can see that visually without having to click on uh, the block itself. Another example, for instance, is clamp. Oh, and you may want to know how I do that. It's control space. So instead of going there, you can just control space your way through all the features. And here, for instance, the clamp, instead again of having to click on the clamp and go on the right, you can just change the value manually right there and you don't have to uh, do anything else. Okay. So going back to the debug nodes, the debug nodes um, literally are nodes that will help you debug. And for that, let me load a um, system. No, not this one. Actually, let's pick this one. All right, right there, you can see I have a uh, shader that it's mostly doing lightning. So we're going to just jump into the shader wall, right? It's going to be better. So we can see it's just regular shading on top of a model, nothing specific. But you can see also these new nodes. And when I click them, they will render what is connected to them. So let's take this one, for instance, out of the color splitter, it will render RGB, right? Every time I click on it, the rendering on the right here change because we replace the default outcome, which is this one, by the one click. That's how the debug nodes work. You can definitely have a list here of debug nodes, right? And they will just pipe the current stage um, where they are connected. For instance, I want to make sure that my war normal does not look like something wrong. I will pipe that here and see, okay, that's my war normal. Uh, and then I can uh, also maybe take, I don't know, the camera position, right? And see here, yeah, okay, so that's the value from the camera position. Or uh, I can take the output of the world post here and take that right there. And because it's a little bit expensive, they are not real-time rendered. Only the active one, the one which is selected, is um, rendered. And so if you want to update a node, you just have to click on it. One interesting feature is also on every single node, you can click here and ask a refresh all. And so whatever position you are like, if you click on refresh all, it will refresh all your debug nodes. So you may see, okay, oh, I see right there, this is black and it should not be black. So I have a problem right before uh, in this stage of the, um, of the pipeline. It allows you to pipe inside your system a specific checkpoint where you can measure and they can stay here because they are removed from the system if they are not active, meaning that you can use that and keep that even for your production code because they will not be compiled. They will just be ejected by the system if they are not active, right? They have to be active like that to be updated um, and get the, the new value. That's just that. That's it. It's going to be a short video today, but I wanted to talk about that because the debug nodes were a, a strong ask from the community. Once again, I believe the node material editor is a powerful tool to uh, um, create shaders. And thanks to the debug node, now you have even even more powerful tool to visually debug your shaders. I wish you a pleasant day. See you next time. Bye.